Welcome. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, rotate uh, this figure 90 degrees clockwise. And um, there's going to be a couple different ways I like to do this. And I only have paper. I don't have wax paper for me uh, for you. But what I like to do is just kind of show you one way I like to do this um, kind of manually. And then another way I can use this algebraically to find my new points. But I think the easiest way to kind of understand um, rotations is to simply just kind of replot what your figure is going to look like. So over here, if I kind of put this in where the x-axis is, what I can do is I can kind of label where my points are because I can see through uh, the paper. Now, you might not be able to. But <clears throat> as, as I go and cover this up, you can see that roughly fits the figure. So when it says rotate clock 90 degrees clockwise, all I'm going to do is take this piece of paper and rotate it 90 degrees. right? So now, where this was my x-axis, now rotating 90 degrees, now that's my y-axis. And I just label the origins right on top of each other. And then you can see where my points are. And then I could try to retrace you know, exactly everything. However, the problem with this sometimes is you know, finding those exact coordinates. Um, if you're using some wax paper or parchment paper, it's usually a lot easier to be able to find the exact coordinate points. But there's also a rule that we can use um, when rotating clockwise. So when I want to, if I have for any of my um, three points, or you know, whatever points you have, if I want to rotate clockwise, notice how this A, when I rotated it, was now down here, right? And it looked like the Y coordinate was now was only over 3, but then it was down 6. So the actual rule that you can play around with, and you can use the rotations and then see, you know, see how this rule works, but the actual rule is now going to be you're going to swap your y and your x, and then you're going to negate the x coordinate. So even though you're still going to graph them as x's and y's, I know this sometimes gets confusing, but all I simply want you to remember is if you swap the variables and then negate the x. So let's take a look at you know, a prime, which would be my new point. All I'm simply going to do is swap my variables. So now it beats 3 comma 6. Now this is still an x coordinate. You're still going to graph that as an x comma y. I just show you what you do with your original x, y. You swap them and then negate your old x coordinate, um, or take the opposite of your old x coordinate, um, which is now going to be your new y coordinate. So to do b prime, I'm going to swap negative 2. Now that's negative 4. Because remember, you have to take the, once you swap them, you have to take the opposite. And then c prime is going to be 4 comma 0. We can't take the opposite of 0. 0 is not positive or negative. So now let's go ahead and plot these two and see if this kind of makes sense um, into my original image that I did. So a is at 3, negative 6. So 1, 2, 3, down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I label that as a prime. b is at negative 2, negative 4. 1, 2, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And c is at 4, comma 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, So by taking this figure and simply just rotating, I have a figure that looks something like this. And let's go and see, does that kind of figure out if I, here's my original figure, and by rotating it <clears throat> 90 degrees, it looks something like that, which is very close, uh, or pretty much exact, to what exactly my new image is. So you can use a piece of paper to help you with the rotations, as well as using this formula to help you determine the new coordinates. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine how to rotate a figure 90 degrees clockwise. Thanks. Oh, I should note that rotating 90 degrees clockwise, I might as well, right? Rotating 90 degrees clockwise is the same thing as rotate um, 270 degrees counterclockwise. Real quick, sorry. Instead of rotating it 90 degrees, if I rotate it counterclockwise, 90, 180, 270. And you get the exact same. <laughs>